Hello, and it's vlog time again. First one of the new year, 2013. Well, we survived the apocalypse, or at least I did. I don't know if you guys did. I'm assuming you did if you're watching this, but you never know. You know, maybe you didn't watch. You didn't survive the apocalypse. Um, that doesn't make sense, but we'll go with it because in my head it was funny. Um, and that's all that matters to me, really. Um, so we got some things. Some things happened. Christmas happened. I got a Wii U and some games. I got a. Uh, a uh, DS game, Epic Mickey. Um, I got uh, this Bazinga shirt. I got a couple of shirts. I got uh, Sonic Screwdriver, Tenth Doctor. I got the Doctor Who gift set. I got Doctor Who Monopoly. Um, anything over there? Like, I got some DVDs and, and such, gift cards and the like. You know, standard, standard fare, really standard fare. Um, the Wii U is like one of the coolest things I've ever, ever owned in my entire life. It's like, oh my god, it's so cool. Um, um, Yami Box arrived, Oki Box arrived, they arrived so close together that, I know normally I was, was going to do them in different vlogs, but it literally would have been vlogs like on, you know, Friday, and then another one on like Monday, um, so I was like, there's no point in that, that's just silly, <laughs> let's just do, you know, one with, with both of them, um, and actually also I have, my birthday happened four days after Christmas, um, I got this, the Shell Chase... Uh, Ninja Turtles Lego set. Um, okay, this wheel's too high. I was wondering, here we go. So, uh, inside the front here, I don't know, I think you may or may not be able to see him as Mikey. He yeah, I swear, I promise you he's in there. And then in the back, I got Leo. He's facing out the window. Um, so this is the Shell Razor. And then it also makes uh, this little pizza cart here. Um, it has, a, I got a, I got a foot soldier on top of it uh, in the back uh, the prang here in the front on top and then dog pounds inside and he's a pretty big figure and really cool looking I like I like this set a lot um, so I got that and um, let's put this back down um, I uh, I picked up from Target recently Ash and Scraggy because fuck yeah Scraggy Shuki was supposed to get me one, I don't know if I ever found one or didn't do it, but uh, I got me a Scraggy finally, um, and this was on clearance. I also got a Star Wars set that had Mother Talzin, Savage Opress, and Darth Maul, also on clearance. Um, and I've been buying Mega Force toys, I think I said in my last vlog, I got the Ghost Same War for Welt. This is my stack of cards, <laughs> right? Um, if I move one direction or the other, actually, let's move down. You can see behind me the lion cycles right there. Um, I also today picked up uh, these two, right? Um, I had some RS dollars, um, so I just use that and help pay for it. Um, cause they're expensive. I got the five figures. I got the Robo Morpher, the Blaster. <clears throat> Anything else? Let me see. Um, no, I, I want to get the brother sets just because I think they're they're cool, like the little vehicle. Um, I, I'm, I'm considering doing reviews of them, um, of all this stuff. Um, I mean to pass my opinion on it, like my opinion really matters. But um, what I'm thinking about doing because I know how this works, right? You do the, you do a review of a Power Ranger toy, and uh, it, if you just do it strictly like a Power Rangers based review. You're going to get a billion and one people to go, how does this compare to the Japanese version? Why didn't you compare it to the Japanese version? This video sucks. Um, and then if you do compare it to the Japanese version, then you get, 50, you know, the, the other half of the audience goes, why do you keep mentioning the Japanese version? I only care about Power Rangers. You guys need to stop mentioning the Japanese version and just talk about Power Rangers. And you just go, ugh. Right, so, um... What I'm considering doing is trying to do a bit of both, where uh, I have two options, and, and kind of tell me what you think. One is where basically, um, and please don't answer with option one or two, because I don't, I'm don't i not going to remember, like two days from now, what the difference is. One option is where I do the whole review as, strictly, as a strictly Power Rangers review, do the sign-off like, oh, you know, see you guys next time, bye, whatever I do, that stupidness. And then after that, I pause for a second, and after that, go, okay, let's compare the, my morpher. That would be great in the show. Where the fuck is my morpher? Uh, 
<laughs> compare, you know, this, for example, if this is the review, go say more ver, to this, right, the ten soder. Um, and then do that after the sign off. That way, if you want to keep watching, you can keep watching. If you, you know, you don't, you don't. Your other option is to do it in the middle of the review, and basically at that at that point say, okay, now I'm gonna have the comparison and put up on the thing like the, a timestamp or something to skip to um, either automatically or you'd have to actually physically go to that spot if I can't figure out how to do it automatically um, to skip that part and then the review would just finish. Um, so either way, I think um, that way it, it kind of keep you know everyone happy to have a, a con Power Rangers context contextual review. And then also still be able to do the comparison for those who are interested and hopefully not have people bitch at me because I just get tired of reading bitchy comments. It's it's exhausting. Right? You get, get an email. Ooh, comment on this video. Open. Oh, it's, it's another bitchy person. Oh, fuck them. Right? Um, I mean, the, you know, of course, you know, worst come to worst, I just do it at the last one and just go up on Twitter and tell people to go with a certain video and just play with the troll. That'll be fun. Um... But yes, that's that's that, right? That's um, that's coming. The last set of Oki stuff I promise is is re reviewed and recorded, still with the exception of Paradiser and and um, the Double Chaser. It's all uh, done. I just things that keep coming up, and I just keep being worn out from everything, work and such that I haven't gotten a chance to upload um, the videos like I want to do. But um, I'm trying to get all that out. Um, so let's, while well, I'm, I'm going to stop talking and open this, <laughs> can I, uh, it's already open, but get the stuff out of this box so that I can go review it literally after this is done. Um, so I've got the Omni Omni box here. Um, now I am waiting on an HLJ box that has the Beast Driver and the Beast Color uh, Wizard Ring Holder. Don't have a dice saber yet, but those two things are going to be on their way as soon as I get a shipping confirmation. I'm still waiting on a CS Toys box that has the Fives Ring, the Small Ring, and the Meteor Ring in it. Um, I think that's all that's on its way. Oh, I know um, the other thing I'm going to say is the, the, the Megaforce stuff is going to give me the, op the final opportunity to upload the Ghost Say Blaster review. I'm warning you right now that that review was done probably almost a year ago, if not a little more than a year ago. So, um, it's not going to be the same picture quality. It um, probably, I think, has the old RR ending <laughs> on it. Um, but I'm going to put it up probably, you know, the day before or the day after the Power Ranger Blast. Probably the day before. That way it'll go up and there's a, you can have a comparison thing. Kind of like uh, Dawson. Uh, is this Dawson or Shuki? Or one of those people did with the the Ghost Sage Mecha and the the Megazord stuff, the, the Zords from um, with Mega Force. So anyway, moving along past that. So what's in this box? Wizard Ring Set Movie Tyson, right here. All right, uh, good. Uh, Wizard Ring Set Three, right there. A Water Dragon Ring Set. So these will be the first things reviewed from this box. Those are actually going to be the next three things that you see. Um, then following up behind them will be this, the Cerberus Play Monster, right, Black Cerberus. Um, this, um, Tiny Card Album with the Fire States Ring. Um, SH Figure Arts, Pegasus Koga from Saint Seiya Omega. Um, got this vinyl here, Water Dragon, which is going to get reviewed after the Cerberus, um, with Flame and Hurricane Dragon. Then there's this vinyl here, Beast, which is going to wait for uh, the end of January when Land Dragon and the Phoenix Phantom come out. I'm probably going to do all three of those in one review. That way, I'm not going to have, uh, you know, I can have three and three and, and stuff like that. And yay, symmetry. Then finally in this box is SH Figure Arts Ryuki Survive, which will go up um, after um, the vinyls. Um... Then we'll finish with the November um, Oki stuff. Uh, then, uh, if I can get comfortable, because I am not in the slightest, um, we'll get to this box here, the December um, Oki box. Now, if you remember, 
Um, I got recently a Gokai Christmas key and a um, Shinken Red uh, Prince Shiba Karu key. Um, so there's more keys in here, and that will all be one review. So here's another ultimatum poster. Um, okay, first up is the last two things that are going to get reviewed. One is um, this magazine with the Pucho Tira ring. Um, Cuba Boobers is on the front there. Um, and also this magazine here with a Climax form, Deno ring, also with Cuba Boobers front and back. Um, so that's cool. Um, but as for those keys I was talking about, here's four more candy toy keys. I've got um, Time Blue, Time Fire, Mammoth Ranger, and Denji Blue. So I now have all uh, uh, both of Kenji Oba's character keys. And I have me another Z Ranger key and uh, another two more Time Ranger keys with painted chest. So these four with the other two will be one review. And I wait, there's one more, I'm sorry. Those four, those two, and this one. Right here, Neil's forgetting one. Deca Master. So those seven keys will be one review. Next up is SH Figuarts, um, Vasco and Figuarts Zero Sally. Right, and everyone's going, what is Vasco? Is that like Basco? Uh, yes, in fact, it does not like Basco. It is Basco. And if you're wondering why it says Vasco, um, the reasoning for that is because uh, Basco de Jolokia is named for the, if I remember correctly, Spanish, I think it's Spanish, Spanish or Portuguese, but probably Spanish, um, Explorer Vasco de Gama, whose name is spelled V-A-S-C-O, right? Um, in fact, TV Nihon, during one of, with one of their subs, uh, one, of, one of the episodes put up a picture of Basco in his outfit, and next to a picture of the Gama off of Wikipedia, if I remember correctly, it was Wikipedia. And uh, they, aside from Basco not having a beard, um, they look really similar. So, you know, that's where that comes from. Let me get this out of the box. But this is Basco in his monster form. And look at that. That's, that's so pretty. I love this. I love this. Next up is SH. Uh, it is this figure at zero, Karina Lyle. So another one of our um, statue, tiger, and bunnies. Uh, this one is Blue Rose. I mentioned it in the uh, Huang Paolin review that she'd be next, and she is. I can get it out. This young lady here, looking like a schoolgirl, like she's, you know, asking for it. I know that's insensitive. Girls aren't asking to be raped, but look at her. She wants Wild Tiger. It would be consensual and you know it. This has just gotten off track and offensive. Next up is SH Figure Arts Deca Green. We can get the butteriest toast for Bridge ever. And we can probably do Shen no Sinking Pose. So that's cool. Then finally, and it's literally the size of the box. And you all saw how big the box is. I just knocked over figures trying to get this open. That's going to be fun, standing those up. Oh my gosh. SH Figure Arts Geno Cider. Right there. I don't want you to see. You don't need to see the reflection of the computer screen. Uh, Metal Jealous Evil Diver and Venus Snaker combining to form one giant monster. That is epic. This thing is huge. Um, this will probably be the last thing in this box reviewed before the magazines, just because it's so huge and is going to require me to get all three of those riders and everything else and really put effort into the review and you know, good effort. Um, but yeah, so all that's coming, I promise. I just have to get the time and the 
effort put out to record it and encode it and uh, edit it and stuff and uh, upload it onto YouTube. So, <laughs> but we'll be working on that. So I gotta go do probably all the Yami Yami stuff like right now in order to help try to catch up and try to keep this place clean because you can see the mess behind me. That's that's unacceptable. I I can't sleep now. Um. So uh, until next time. Uh, check out the podcast, RiseRangerRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, like I said, give your thoughts on the, the Megaforce review ideas. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.